the intricate dance of human connection. The pursuit of love often resembles a journey through a labyrinth, with its twists and turns, dead ends, and unexpected openings. Drawing upon the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, coupled with modern insights, we venture into the heart of this labyrinth, seeking strategies for nurturing lasting connections. Understanding human nature lies at the core of navigating love's complex pathways. Love, in its essence, is an emotional bond that transcends mere physical attraction or shared interests. It's about recognizing and valuing the inherent complexity of another person and committing to the journey of growth together. As Deguzi teaches, understanding the motivations, fears, and desires of our partner is the first step in forging a deep and enduring connection. Mastery of speech is not about grand declarations of love or poetic soliloquies. It's about the day-to-day -day communication that builds or breaks relationships. In love, every word counts. The way we express our needs, our listening skills, and our ability to provide comfort and support through our words can significantly influence the quality of our connection. Like a skilled orator who knows when to employ passion or persuasion, lovers must learn when to speak, when to listen, and when silence itself is the most powerful message. Utilization of rhetorical techniques in love might seem manipulative, yet it's about understanding how to effectively convey our feelings and thoughts. Emotional appeals, when sincere, can strengthen bonds. Ethical considerations remind us to maintain respect and integrity in our interactions. Logical argumentation, used wisely, can help resolve conflicts and misunderstandings. These techniques, applied with care, enrich our connections, making them more resilient. Discernment between truth and falsehood is crucial in a world where superficiality often overshadows authenticity. In love, being truthful and demanding truth in return is foundational. This discernment allows us to see beyond facades, to appreciate the beauty of our partner's true self, and to love them more deeply for it. The role of emotions in the labyrinth of love cannot be overstated. Love, after all, is an emotional bond. Understanding and navigating our emotions and those of our partner is akin to finding our way through the most bewildering sections of the labyrinth. It involves recognizing the validity of emotions, communicating them effectively, and responding to our partner's emotional states with empathy and compassion. Adaptability in communication acknowledges that love is not static, it evolves as we journey through life. The ability to adapt our communication style to the changing dynamics of our relationship is vital. As we grow and change, so too must our way of connecting. This adaptability ensures that our bond remains strong, even as the landscape of our relationship shifts. Integrating real-life samples, let's consider the story of Alex and Jordan. Both came from different backgrounds and had contrasting personalities. Yet, by applying the principles outlined above, they navigated their differences with understanding and empathy. They learned to communicate openly, adapting their styles as their relationship matured. Their love story exemplifies how, even in a world brimming with challenges, lasting connections can be forged with patience, understanding, and a willingness to adapt. In weaving through love's labyrinth, we discover that the strategies for lasting connections are as timeless as they are contemporary. From the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi to the narratives of modern love, the journey is about understanding, communication, truth, emotion, and adaptability. As we navigate this labyrinth, let us remember that the path to enduring love is not about finding a perfect person, but about seeing an imperfect person perfectly. In the labyrinth of life's financial decisions, Navigating the path to prosperity can often feel like an attempt to decode an ancient, mystical manuscript. Yet, the principles of success, much like the arcane secrets of alchemy, are accessible to those who seek them with diligence and understanding. In this narrative, we embark on a journey to uncover the alchemy of finance, transforming your decisions into gold. The Philosopher's Stone, Understanding Human Nature at the heart of every financial decision lies the complex web of human nature. Much like the ancient alchemists who sought the Philosopher's Stone, we must begin our quest with a profound understanding of ourselves and those around us. 
Guguzi, the revered sage of strategic communication, teaches us that by grasping the motivations and behaviors of individuals, we can adeptly navigate the market's ebbs and flows. In finance, this means recognizing our biases, fears, and desires. It's about understanding that the fear of loss often outweighs the joy of gain and that this intrinsic human nature can cloud our judgment. The Elixir of Life, Mastery of Speech Communication is the elixir that breathes life into our financial endeavors. Whether negotiating a salary, discussing terms with investors, or advising clients, the mastery of speech is paramount. Different situations call for different types of communication, sometimes assertive, at other times, empathetic. Crafting your message with clarity and persuasion, as Deguzi suggests, can turn the tide in your favor. Remember, in finance, how you say something can be just as important as what you say. The great work, utilization of rhetorical techniques. The art of persuasion is akin to the alchemist's great work, transforming lead into gold. Deguzi's teachings on the use of rhetorical techniques are invaluable in this regard. Logical argumentation can help you build airtight cases for your investments, while emotional appeals can connect you with your audience on a deeper level. Ethical considerations, too, play a crucial role. In the realm of finance, trust is your most precious commodity. Employing these strategies with skill and integrity can enhance your persuasive power and lead to more fruitful outcomes. Transmutation, discernment between truth and falsehood. In the pursuit of financial alchemy, discerning truth from falsehood is essential. The market is rife with misinformation and half-truths. Giguzi emphasizes the importance of this discernment, guiding us to seek out reliable sources and question the veracity of the information we encounter. This critical thinking can protect you from the pitfalls of speculation and empower you to make decisions based on solid, factual grounds. The Secret Fire, Role of Emotions Emotions are the secret fire that fuels our financial decisions. Understanding and appealing to emotions, both our own and those of others, can significantly impact our financial journey. Deguzi teaches us the importance of empathy and emotional intelligence in persuasion. In finance, this translates to managing our emotional responses to market fluctuations and recognizing the emotional undercurrents in negotiations and transactions. The Universal Solvent, Adaptability in Communication Finally, adaptability in communication is the universal solvent that dissolves barriers and opens doors. Being flexible and tailoring your approach to different individuals and situations, as highlighted by Gaguzi, can lead to more effective interactions. In the financial world, this means staying open to new ideas, adjusting your strategies in the face of changing market conditions, and being receptive to the perspectives of others. In conclusion, the alchemy of finance is not a mythical secret, but a practical skill set rooted in ancient wisdom and modern understanding. By applying Gaguzi's teachings to our financial decisions, we can navigate the market with greater insight, persuasion, and emotional intelligence. Just as the alchemists of old sought transformation and enlightenment, so too can we achieve our financial goals and turn our decisions into gold. In the heart of the modern age, where technology dictates the pace of life and human connections often seem to flicker from screen to screen, there lies an untold story of rediscovery. This is not your typical tale of romance, but rather a journey into the depths of what it means to truly connect in a world that appears, at first glance, to have forgotten the art of love. Once upon a contemporary time, there lived a person named Alex. Alex, much like anyone else in the bustling city, navigated through life with the efficiency and precision of a well-oiled machine. Days blended into nights as appointments, emails, and notifications dictated the rhythm of existence. Yet, amidst the cacophony of digital chimes and the relentless pursuit of success, there was a whisper of dissonance. A longing that no number of social media followers or instant messages could satisfy. Drawing inspiration from Gaguzi's ancient wisdom, Alex embarked on a quest to unravel the complexities of human nature in search of genuine connection. Understanding that to influence and be influenced is to engage in the delicate dance of life, Alex sought to master the art of communication, acknowledging that different moments call for different expressions. 
It was in the mastery of speech and the ability to articulate thoughts and emotions with authenticity that Alex found the first key to unlocking the heart. Employing the strategic use of idioms, such as wearing one's heart on one's sleeve and crossing the bridge when one comes to it, Alex began to weave a narrative that resonated with the souls of those encountered. These phrases, rich with meaning yet simple in form, served as vessels for conveying depth and understanding, bridging the gap between strangers. Real-life examples served as the foundation upon which Alex built bridges of empathy. Stories of love found, lost, and rekindled served not only as a testament to the resilience of the human heart, but also as a beacon of hope for those adrift in the sea of digital disconnection. By sharing tales of elderly couples rekindling their flame through handwritten letters, or of childhood friends reconnecting across continents through shared memories, Alex illuminated the path back to the essence of heartfelt connection. The teachings of Gaguzi on the utilization of rhetorical techniques came to life as Alex skillfully balanced emotional appeals with logical argumentation. Understanding that emotions play a significant role in persuasion, there was a careful crafting of narratives that not only engaged the mind, but also tugged at the heartstrings. Moreover, the discernment between truth and falsehood became the guiding light, ensuring that the stories shared were not only compelling, but also rooted in authenticity. In a world that prides itself on adaptability and innovation, Alex's journey serves as a reminder of the timeless nature of human connection. It is a story that transcends the modern age, reaching back into the wisdom of the past to guide us forward. Through the masterful deployment of ancient philosophy, idioms, and real-life examples, Alex not only rediscovered love, but also redefined it for the digital era. As the tale of Heartstrings Unbound, rediscovering love in the modern age draws to a close, it leaves behind a trail of reflection. In the pursuit of connection, it is not the quantity of interactions that defines the depth of our relationships, but the quality. In understanding and embracing the complexities of human nature, in mastering the art of communication, and in sharing the stories that unite us, we find the keys to unlocking not just our hearts, but also the essence of what it means to love and be loved in the modern age. In the bustling world we inhabit, the journey from stress to strength seems like a steep mountain to climb. However, nestled within this challenge lies a hidden path, illuminated by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and the narrative prowess akin to late-night storytelling. Let's embark on a tale that not only captivates, but enlightens, guiding us from the shadows of stress into the light of strength, both mental and physical. Once upon a time, in a reality not unlike our own, there was an individual, let's call them Alex. Alex's life was a whirlwind of deadlines, demands, and decisions. Like many, Alex found themselves ensnared in the web of stress, the kind that gnaws at your well-being, leaving you feeling like a ship adrift in a stormy sea. But what if I told you that Alex's story doesn't end in turmoil? That, my friends, is where our journey begins. Drawing upon the unmatched narrative ability, we delve into Alex's life, employing Gaguzi's ancient Chinese philosophy to unravel a tale of transformation. Understanding human nature, as Gaguzi teaches, is the first step. Alex, like many of us, was driven by a desire to succeed but was hindered by a fear of failure. This duality is the crux of human behavior, our motivations shaped by a complex dance of desires and fears. Mastering speech, a key component of Gaguzi's teachings, played a pivotal role in Alex's journey. They learned that communicating their needs and boundaries effectively, both in personal and professional realms, wasn't just about the words chosen but how they were delivered. This mastery of speech, combined with the skillful deployment of idioms, added depth to their interactions, making communication not just a tool but an art. Utilization of rhetorical techniques was another gem from Gaguzi that Alex discovered. By appealing to the emotional states of those around them, Alex was able to foster a supportive network. This emotional intelligence, powered by an understanding of the role of emotions in persuasion, turned erstwhile adversaries into allies. The discernment between truth and falsehood, as per Gaguzi, was perhaps the most challenging yet rewarding lesson for Alex. In a world teeming with misinformation about health and well-being, learning to differentiate genuine advice from fleeting trends was crucial. 
This discernment also led to a deeper understanding of their own body and mind, recognizing what truly worked for them. Incorporating real-life samples into our narrative, let's look at how Alex applied these teachings. They started integrating small, manageable habits into their daily routine, inspired by those who had successfully navigated similar journeys. From mindfulness meditation, drawing upon the adaptability and communication with oneself, to physical exercise, a testament to the mastery of speech through action, Alex found solace and strength. As our tale nears its close, we find Alex transformed, not into a mythical hero devoid of flaws, but into a resilient individual. Their journey from stress to strength wasn't marked by a dramatic epiphany, but by the gradual, steadfast application of ancient wisdom to modern woes. In crafting this narrative, we've traversed the landscape of human struggle and triumph, guided by the teachings of Gaguzi and the art of storytelling. Alex's story, though fictional, mirrors the potential journey of any individual willing to embark on the path from stress to strength. It serves as a beacon, illuminating the idea that within each of us lies the capacity for immense growth and resilience. So, as we part ways with Alex, let us carry forward the lessons learned, applying them not just to our tales, but to our lives. For in the art of narrative, as in life, the true magic lies in the transformation of our trials into triumphs, guided by the timeless wisdom of the past and the boundless creativity of the present. In an era where the skyline of our dreams was as high as the tallest skyscrapers, there lived an architect named Alex. Alex wasn't just any architect, he was a visionary. His designs a blend of art and science. His buildings more than structures, they were stories reaching for the heavens. Yet, despite his talents, financial freedom remained a blueprint he couldn't quite draft. That was, until he stumbled upon an ancient manuscript, Deguzi, hidden within the dusty shelves of an old library. This was the turning point, a plot twist in Alex's life story. That would lead him to not just design buildings, but to construct his path to wealth. Understanding Human Nature Alex's first revelation came from recognizing the complexities of his clients. Like the intricate lines of a blueprint, each client had their own desires, fears, and motivations. By truly understanding these, Alex could tailor his pitches and designs to resonate on a personal level, turning potential clients into loyal patrons. This was his foundation, the bedrock upon which he built his financial empire. Mastery of Speech Previously, Alex's presentations were factual, filled with technical jargon that, while impressive, often flew over his clients' heads. Drawing from Gaguzi, he learned the art of varied speech, adapting his language to suit the audience. To some, he painted pictures with words, evoking emotions and dreams. To others, he was concise, focusing on practicalities and ROI. Each presentation was a performance, and Alex, a maestro, conducting symphonies that won hearts and contracts. Utilization of Rhetorical Techniques Alex began to weave rhetorical strategies into his narratives. He understood that to persuade, he needed to appeal not just to logic, but to emotions and ethics as well. He began sharing stories of his designs, not just as buildings, but as communities, as legacies. He spoke of sustainability and impact, tapping into the collective consciousness of his era. His projects became causes, his visions, shared dreams. Discernment between truth and falsehood. In the competitive world of architecture, not every opportunity was as it seemed. Alex learned to see beyond surface-level promises, distinguishing between genuine prospects and those that would lead him astray. This discernment saved him time, money, and energy, focusing his efforts on fruitful endeavors. A testament to Gaguzi's teachings on truth and deception. Role of Emotions Alex's greatest projects were those born from passion. He realized that by connecting with his own emotions, he could create more impactful, meaningful designs. This emotional intelligence allowed him to navigate negotiations understand his team better, and ultimately lead projects that not only achieved financial success, but also left a lasting mark on the community. Adaptability in Communication 
the world of architecture, much like the currents of a river, was ever-changing. Alex learned to be like water, adapting his communication style, his designs, and even his business strategies to meet the evolving demands of the market. This flexibility was his greatest asset, allowing him to stay ahead of trends and carve a niche for himself in a saturated market. Through the application of Giguzzi's ancient wisdom, Alex transformed his career. His story is not just one of financial success, but of personal growth and impact. Like the buildings he designed, Alex became a testament to the power of understanding, adaptability, and genuine connection. His journey from struggling architect to industry leader was a masterclass in the art of persuasion. A narrative rich with lessons for anyone seeking to construct their own path to success. In the tapestry of human connections, relationships stand as the most intricate and colorful threads. They weave through the fabric of our lives, creating patterns of joy, sorrow, and growth. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Giguzzi, combined with the narrative finesse reminiscent of late night show hosts, let us embark on a journey to explore the art of crafting relationships that stand the test of time. Understanding human nature. At the heart of every lasting relationship lies a profound understanding of human nature. Much like the teachings of Giguzzi, recognizing the complexities of human behavior and motivations is pivotal. Consider the story of Anna and Mark, two individuals with vastly different backgrounds and interests. Anna, a passionate environmentalist, and Mark, a tech enthusiast, found common ground in their mutual appreciation for innovation and sustainability. Their willingness to understand and embrace their differences became the cornerstone of a relationship that flourished over the years. This narrative underscores the importance of empathy and open-mindedness, illustrating how deeply understanding each other fosters connections that endure. Mastery of Speech Communication, as emphasized by Gaguzi, is the lifeline of any relationship. The manner in which we express our thoughts and feelings can either fortify bonds or fray them. Reflect on the countless times when a simple, heartfelt conversation resolved misunderstandings that seemed insurmountable. Take, for instance, the elderly couple, Sarah and Tom, who, after decades of marriage, still make it a point to engage in open and honest dialogue. Their story teaches us that mastering the art of communication, knowing when to speak, listen, and, most importantly, how to convey our emotions with sincerity, is essential in nurturing a relationship that withstands the ebbs and flows of life. Utilization of Rhetorical Techniques Employing rhetorical techniques, as guided by Gaguzzi, can significantly influence the dynamics of a relationship. Logical argumentation, emotional appeals, and ethical considerations play crucial roles in persuasion and conflict resolution. Imagine a scenario where two friends, facing a disagreement, use these techniques not to outweed each other, but to reach a mutual understanding. By presenting logical arguments, acknowledging each other's feelings, and appealing to shared values, they navigate their conflict with respect and empathy, thereby strengthening their bond. Discernment between truth and falsehood. In an age where misinformation can easily strain relationships, the ability to discern truth from falsehood is invaluable. Authenticity and honesty lay the groundwork for trust, a fundamental element in any lasting relationship. Consider the tale of a business partnership tested by rumors of deceit. Through their commitment to transparency and truth-seeking, the partners dispelled doubts and reaffirmed their trust in one another. This narrative highlights the significance of integrity and the role it plays in preserving the sanctity of our connections. Role of Emotions Emotions, as Giguzzi teaches, are at the core of human interaction. Understanding and appealing to the emotional states of others can bridge gaps and heal wounds. The story of siblings, estranged for years over a misunderstanding, who reunite through shared grief and forgiveness, exemplifies the power of emotional connection. It is a poignant reminder that acknowledging and respecting each other's feelings can pave the way for reconciliation and renewed bonds. Adaptability in Communication The ability to adapt our communication style to different individuals and situations, as highlighted in Giguzzi, is a mark of relational intelligence. 
Whether it's adjusting our tone, choice of words, or mode of expression, flexibility in communication is key to maintaining harmony and understanding. The dynamic between a teacher and her diverse set of students illustrates this beautifully. By tailoring her approach to meet the unique needs of each student, she fosters a nurturing environment that encourages growth and learning. In weaving these elements into the fabric of our relationships, we craft connections that are not only resilient but also enriching. From understanding and communication to integrity and adaptability, the art of relationship building is a multifaceted and ongoing process. Let us take inspiration from the wisdom of Gaguzi and the storytelling prowess of great narrators to nurture bonds that stand the test of time, bringing color and warmth to the tapestry of our lives. In the grand tapestry of life, the pursuit of happiness often leads us down a winding path, intertwining the threads of financial stability and emotional well-being. It's a journey akin to navigating a vast, uncharted sea, where the waves of our desires and fears clash against the shores of reality. As a master raconteur, I've delved into the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi to chart a course towards prosperity that satisfies both the wallet and the soul. Understanding the dual nature of investment. The art of investment isn't confined to the realm of finance alone, it's equally about enriching one's emotional reservoir. Gaguzi teaches us the importance of understanding human nature, a principle that holds true whether we're discussing stock markets or the fabric of our personal relationships. To invest wisely, we must first comprehend our own motivations and those of the people around us. Are we driven by a quest for security, or is it the thrill of the gamble that quickens our pulse? The Mastery of Emotional Portfolio Management just as a savvy investor diversifies their financial portfolio, so too should we balance our emotional investments. Employing Gaguzi's mastery of speech, we learn to communicate our needs and desires effectively, ensuring that we're not overinvested in ventures that yield little joy. This strategic allocation of emotional resources prevents the heartache of putting all our emotional eggs in one basket, be it a job, a relationship, or a personal aspiration. Negotiating the market of life with rhetorical skill. Life, much like the stock market, has its ups and downs. Utilizing Gaguzi's rhetorical techniques, we equip ourselves with the ability to sway our own outlook and the perceptions of those around us. Through logical argumentation, we can rationalize our fears and disappointments. Emotional appeals allow us to connect deeply with others, forging bonds that enrich our lives. Ethical considerations guide us to invest in causes and relationships that align with our deepest values, leading to a profound sense of fulfillment. The Wisdom of Emotional Due Diligence Discerning between truth and falsehood, as Gaguzi advises, is crucial in avoiding emotional scams. Just as a financial investor conducts due diligence before committing to a venture, we must evaluate the authenticity of our pursuits and those we invite into our lives. Are we chasing superficial markers of success, or are we seeking genuine happiness? This discernment shields us from the pitfalls of misallocated emotional investments. The Role of Adaptability Finally, Gaguzi underscores the importance of adaptability in communication and investment strategy. The financial market is volatile, and so is the human heart. By remaining flexible, we can adjust our strategies in response to life's inevitable changes, ensuring that our investments, both financial and emotional, are resilient in the face of adversity. In weaving through these tales, enriched with idioms like navigating a vast, uncharted sea and integrating real-life examples of successful individuals who have balanced financial acumen with emotional intelligence, we find that the key to prosperity lies not just in the numbers of our bank accounts, but in the richness of our human experiences. As we journey through life, let us invest wisely, not just with our money, but with our hearts, guided by the timeless wisdom of Gaguzi. For in the end, the true measure of our wealth is not the sum total of our financial assets, but the depth of our emotional and spiritual contentment. In the softly lit corners of life, where the humdrum of everyday existence gently fades into the background, lies the potent potential for a renaissance of love. The art of rekindling passion in a relationship is akin to nurturing a delicate flame. It requires patience, understanding, and, above all, a touch of creativity. 
drawing from the ancient wisdom of Guguzi. We embark on a narrative journey to explore the resurgence of affection and intimacy, guiding couples through the labyrinth of love's rejuvenation. Understanding human nature. At the heart of every relationship lies the complex tapestry of human emotions and desires. Like the intricate dance of yin and yang, partners in love seek harmony and balance. Recognizing the ebb and flow of each other's needs and aspirations is the first step towards reigniting the flame of passion. Embrace the understanding that love's language is not static, it evolves, whispering different words at different times. Listening, truly listening, to your partner's unvoiced needs and desires can transform the mundane into the extraordinary. Mastery of Speech Words wield the power to heal or hurt, to ignite or extinguish. In the realm of love, how we communicate our feelings, dreams, and fears is paramount. Drawing from the wisdom of Guguzi, we learn that varied occasions and contexts dictate the tone and texture of our speech. A gentle word of appreciation, a heartfelt compliment, or an open, honest dialogue can act as the balm that soothes and mends. Remember, it's not just what we say, but how we say it that kindles the flames of passion and intimacy. Utilization of rhetorical techniques. Persuasion, in the context of rekindling love, is not about manipulation, but about opening doors to the heart that may have been closed. Emotional appeals, woven with the threads of genuine affection and concern, can break down barriers built over time. Share stories of joy, instances of vulnerability, and dreams for the future to reconnect on a deeper level. Let your narrative be one of hope, painting a picture of a shared tomorrow brimming with love and laughter. Discernment between truth and falsehood. Authenticity is the cornerstone of a passionate relationship. In navigating the path to love's renaissance, being truthful with oneself and one's partner is non-negotiable. This journey is not about creating an illusion of perfection, but about embracing the beauty of imperfection. Let honesty be the light that guides you, dispelling shadows of doubt and mistrust. Role of Emotions Emotions, the silent language of the heart, are the lifeblood of passion. Understanding and responding to the emotional currents within your partner can transform the ordinary into the magical. Celebrate moments of joy, provide solace in times of sorrow, and stand together in the face of challenges. Remember, it's in the crucible of emotions that love is tested and strengthened. Adaptability in communication. Just as no two days are the same, no two moments in a relationship are identical. Adaptability, the ability to tailor one's expressions of love to the changing dynamics of life, is crucial. Surprise your partner with acts of kindness, be spontaneous, and keep the element of mystery alive. It's the unexpected gestures of love that often leave the most indelible marks on the heart. In weaving these threads together, we craft a narrative of love's renaissance, a tale of rekindled passion and intimacy. Like the master raconteurs of old, let us remember that the story of love is ever unfolding, painted with the vibrant hues of human emotion and experience. In the end, it is not just about loving, but about how we choose to love. Let this journey be your canvas, and may the art of love guide you to a renaissance of passion and intimacy in your relationship. In the heart of every person lies an odyssey. A journey not marked by the miles traveled, but by the transformations within. This tale isn't about ancient heroes or mythical lands, but about a quest we all embark on. The journey to our best selves. It's a narrative that weaves through the principles of Guguzi. Adorned with idioms and real-life samples. Taking you through a roller coaster of emotions, much like the beloved late-night shows. But with a purpose that resonates on a deeper level. The starting point of this odyssey often comes unannounced. In the midst of our hectic lives, a moment of clarity pierces through the cacophony of our daily routines. Whispering, there's more to life. This whisper, soft yet persistent, is where our journey begins. It's akin to setting sail in uncharted waters, not knowing what lies ahead, but filled with a fervent desire to discover the treasures within. Understanding human nature, as taught by Gaguzi, is the compass by which we navigate this journey. It's recognizing the maelstrom of our emotions and the trade winds of our aspirations. By understanding ourselves, we learn to steer our ship with wisdom. 
The ancient philosopher's teachings remind us that knowing our deepest fears and highest hopes is the first step in transforming them. The mastery of speech plays a pivotal role in our odyssey. It's not just about the conversations we have with others, but the dialogue we engage in with ourselves. Every I can't that is turned into an I will is a testament to the power of words. A skill that Gaguzi prized above all. It's about replacing the narrative of doubt with affirmations of possibility. A crucial maneuver in the journey to our best selves. Real life examples abound, illustrating the transformative power of this journey. Consider the story of a woman who, feeling trapped in a cycle of negativity, decided to embark on her wellness odyssey. She began by understanding her own nature, recognizing the source of her unrest. Through the mastery of speech, she changed her internal dialogue from self-criticism to self-compassion. Her journey was marked by the integration of healthy habits, not just in diet and exercise, but in thought and emotion. The result? A transformation that was nothing short of remarkable, a real-life testament to the Odyssey's power. The use of idioms enriches our narrative, serving as buoys that guide us through the sea of change. Turning over a new leaf, breaking the chains, and finding one's true north are not just phrases. They are milestones on our journey. Each idiom is a beacon of hope, illuminating the path to our best selves. Gaguzi also emphasizes the role of emotions in persuasion, a principle that applies profoundly to our journey. It's about persuading ourselves to embrace change, to venture into the unknown. This odyssey is an emotional one, where tears of frustration may give way to tears of joy. Where the heart's tumultuous voyage finds a serene harbor. In this odyssey, adaptability and communication is our sail. It's about being flexible with ourselves, understanding that the path to wellness isn't linear. There will be days when the winds are favorable and progress is swift. And days when the waters are still, and patience is our only companion. Adapting our self-talk to these changing tides is crucial. This narrative, dear reader, is an invitation. An invitation to embark on your own wellness odyssey, guided by the timeless wisdom of Gaguzi, and enriched by the stories of those who've navigated these waters before you. It's a call to journey within, to discover the treasures of resilience, strength, and peace that lie waiting to be unearthed. As we draw this tale to a close, remember that the journey to your best self is not a destination, but an ongoing odyssey. It's a voyage that is as challenging as it is rewarding, as personal as it is universal. So, set sail, brave traveler. Your odyssey awaits. In the labyrinth of life, where every turn could lead to fortune or folly. Understanding the art of building and sustaining wealth is akin to possessing the map to a hidden treasure. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, a text revered not just for its strategic insights, but for its profound understanding of human nature and persuasion. We embark on a journey to unravel the secrets of financial success. Our narrative, inspired by the likes of late-night maestros such as Jimmy Kimmel, promises not just insights, but a roller coaster of emotions. Punctuated with real-life examples, idiomatic expressions, and a touch of humor. To keep you both engaged and enlightened. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also, an idiom that resonates through the ages, serves as our starting point. The quest for wealth is not merely a material pursuit, but an emotional and psychological journey. Like any seasoned storyteller, one must first understand the audience. In the context of wealth creation, this translates to knowing oneself, strengths, weaknesses, and most importantly, one's financial habits. Deguzi emphasizes the importance of understanding human nature. It teaches us that by comprehending our own financial behaviors and motivations, we can devise strategies that resonate with our personal goals and circumstances. In the realm of wealth, communication is key. Whether it's negotiating salaries, discussing investments, or simply talking about money management. The way we articulate our financial desires and boundaries can significantly impact our wealth-building journey. Following Gaguzi's teachings, mastering speech involves not just clarity and conviction, but also the ability to adapt our message to the listener. Be it a financial advisor, a business partner, or even a family member. 
This adaptability and communication ensures that our financial goals are not just heard but understood and respected. The art of persuasion is at the heart of wealth building. Whether convincing a lender to offer a favorable loan, persuading a client to invest, or negotiating a higher salary, the ability to sway others towards our financial objectives is invaluable. Here, Giguzzi's insights into rhetorical techniques come to the forefront. Logical argumentation, emotional appeals, and ethical considerations become tools in our arsenal. For instance, when negotiating a salary, one might use logical argumentation, highlighting skills and achievements. Emotional appeals, sharing aspirations, and ethical considerations, emphasizing fairness. In the pursuit of wealth, not all that glitters is gold. The ability to discern genuine opportunities from deceptive pitfalls is crucial. This discernment, a key teaching of Giguzzi, aids us in navigating the complex financial markets and investment opportunities. By critically evaluating financial advice and opportunities, we protect ourselves from potential losses and scams. Ensuring our wealth-building journey is on solid ground. Emotions play a significant role in our financial decisions. Understanding and managing these emotions, while also being adaptable in our financial strategies, can lead to sustained wealth. Giguzzi teaches us that by being flexible and tailoring our approach to the ever-changing financial landscape, we can overcome obstacles and seize opportunities. This might mean adjusting our investment strategies in response to market changes or revising our financial goals as our personal circumstances evolve. In weaving through the narrative of building and sustaining wealth, guided by the ancient wisdom of Giguzzi, we find that the journey is as much about understanding ourselves as it is about understanding the mechanics of finance. Through mastery of speech, strategic persuasion, discernment, and emotional intelligence, we become not just participants in the financial world, but navigators, capable of charting our course towards sustained wealth. As our tale comes to a close, we are reminded that the journey of wealth creation is ongoing. A story that continues to unfold with each decision we make. It's a narrative punctuated with challenges and triumphs, learning and growth. And in this journey, fortified with ancient wisdom and modern insights, our fortunes are forged, not just in the wealth we build, but in the wisdom we gain.